Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a plus b times a squared plus b squared is equal to 85 and a minus b times a squared minus b squared is equal to 45. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b such that a and b are positive integers. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2 and we divide equation 1 by equation 2. So this will become a plus b times a squared plus b squared divided by a minus b times a squared minus b squared is equal to 80 5 divided by 45. Next, a plus b times a squared plus b squared divided by a minus b times this a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b is equal to this 85 divided by 45 will become 17 over 9. Now this a plus b will be cancelled out with this a plus b and this equation will become a squared plus b squared divided by this a minus b times a minus b will become a minus b whole squared is equal to 17 over 9 and from here we use cross multiplication we multiply 17 by a minus b whole squared we multiply this 9 by this a squared plus b squared so this will become 9 times a squared plus b squared is equal to 17 times a minus b whole squared. Now this 9 times a squared will become 9a squared and 9 times b squared will become 9b squared is equal to 17 times we expand this a minus b whole squared this will become a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a b. Next, 9a squared plus 9b squared is equal to 17 times a squared will become 17a squared plus 17 times b squared will become 17b squared and 17 times negative 2ab will become negative 34ab and we subtract 9a squared and 9b squared from both sides. So this get cancelled, this get cancelled and this equation will become 17 minus 9 8a squared plus 17 minus 9 8b squared minus 34ab is equal to 0. Now we divide this whole equation by 2. 8 divided by 2 will become Four a squared plus eight divided by two will become four b squared minus thirty four divided by two seventeen a b is equal to zero. Now we rearrange these terms four a squared minus seventeen a b plus four b squared is equal to zero. Next, 4a squared. This negative 17 times ab can be written as a negative 16 ab minus 1ab plus 4b squared is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, 4a squared minus 16ab, we can factor out 4 times a 
and in bracket left a minus 4b and from these two terms in negative a b plus 4b squared we can factor out negative b in bracket left a minus 4b is equal to 0 and this a minus 4b is a common factor so we factor out this a minus 4b and in bracket left this 4a and this negative b in bracket left 4 times a minus b is equal to 0 from here either this expression a minus 4 times b is equal to 0 or this expression 4 times a minus b is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 4 times b and from this equation we get the value of b is equal to 4 times a let's call this equation equation 3 and this equation equation 4 now we recall equation 1 equation 1 is a plus b times a squared plus b squared is equal to 85 equation 1 is uh, a plus uh, b times uh, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to 85 first we replace uh, this a and this a with this value of a 4 times b so this equation will become 4 times b plus uh, b times uh, 4 times b squared plus this b squared is equal to 85 this 4b plus b will become 5 times b times this 4b squared will become 16b squared plus b squared is equal to 85 and we divide both sides of this equation by 5 so this 5 will be cancelled out with this 5 if left hand side we are left with b times 16 b squared plus 1 b squared will become 17 b squared is equal to 85 divided by 5 will become 17 and this b times 17 b squared will become 17 b cube is equal to 17 and this implies that uh, b cube is equal to 1 and we take power 1 over 3 on both sides so this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and we get the value of b is equal to 1 to the power 1 over 3 is 1 now to find the value of a recall the equation 3 equation 3 is a is equal to 4b equation 3 is a is equal to 4 times b so a will be equal to 4 times 1 is 4 so from this case we get the value of a 4 and value of b 1 now in this equation we replace this b and this b with this value of b 4 times a so this equation will become a plus 4 times a times a squared plus 4 times a squared is equal to 85 now this a plus 4a will become 5 times a times a squared plus 4a squared will become 16a squared is equal to 85 and we divide both sides by 5 so this 5 will be cancelled out with this 5 we are left with this a times a squared plus 16a squared will become 17a squared is equal to 85 divided by 5 will become 
17 and a times this 17 a squared will become 17 a cube is equal to 17. Now if we divide both sides by 17 this implies that uh, a cube is equal to 1 and we take power 1 over 3 on both sides. So this 3 will be considered with this 3 and we are left with a is equal to 1 to the power 1 over 3 is 1. Now we recall the equation we recall this equation for b is equal to 4a. We recall the equation b is equal to 4 times a. So, b is equal to 4 times 1 is 4. So, from this case so we get value of a 1 and value of b 4. So, the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to first pair is 4 comma 1 and the second pair is 1 comma 4. This is the final answer of this problem.